All right, today's the ninth day of my not masturbating. It's also kind of an important anniversary for me. So definitely don't want to mess it up. I want to say it's a double-edged sword. My initial motivation for wanting to not masturbate was that I had a few situations where I had urges to masturbate and I actually did it in inappropriate times and places. And um, I've learned that it is very difficult for me to control where and when something happens. It's much easier for me to to stop doing something altogether. Uh, unfortunately, there are some things in life that can't be stopped altogether. And, uh, th that's where I run into all the tricky parts in life, right? Things that don't have to be used at all. Alcohol, drugs. Uh, and I've never seemed to have problems with that, right? Things that have to be used in a controlled way, that's where I have a lot of problems. Anyway, so in nine days, I find that there are huge benefits, but also huge drawbacks. It's like I took what used to be this and turned it into this. And um, let me give you something. Well, actually, I turned what used to be this, right, where the craving was like a huge plunge, right? And now it's like a sine wave that doesn't go to that very, very low point, but it it, it it moves up and down a whole lot more, right? I don't know if that made sense to you guys, but um, one thing I do love about master uh, not masturbating, right, uh, is that it creates a little bit of a vacuum uh, that I have to then replace with some other activity in life, and it forces me to almost suction up life. Uh, I don't know if that was the best analogy to use. For example, every Wednesday. I go to a board game meetup, and um, so for a number of weeks now, actually, we had a Ukrainian refugee, and I've been wanting to talk to her, and um, I really don't have much to say to her, and, and chances are she wants a long-term relationship kind of issue, and that's not going to work for me either, so I didn't want to waste my time, I didn't want to embarrass myself, and so it just sat there for, for three, four weeks. And then this past week, I went there, and before I knew it, I was holding a conversation with her because I was missing out on the not masturbating. I also find it a lot easier to get going in the morning. Oftentimes, if I don't have an early morning commitment, I get up, I look at the clock, it's 7 o'clock, and I'll, I'll, I used to just keep tossing and turning until 9, 10 o'clock because I would masturbate and then go right back to sleep, and sometimes multiple times, right? Uh, now that I can't do that, I leap right out of bed and I go uh, enjoy something new like this trail on Red in Redmond, right? Uh, this would have been impossible for me just a few weeks ago. Now, um, what, else, what else did I do? I, uh, um, I wrote a number of um, computer games, obviously. I got a lot of exercise. I also find other healthy habits a lot easier to do when I'm not masturbating. I, I find I, I can fast a whole lot longer. I can uh, get exercise. Unfortunately, the weather hasn't been all that nice to me lately. Okay, those are the benefits. Now, what are the drawbacks? The drawbacks are any time that I have um, situations where I uh, commonly used to masturbate. Now I have to rethink how those things are gonna work out, right? Especially, especially falling asleep at night. Uh, the first couple of days, I, I had nights where I tossed and turned for most of the night, actually. What I, what I found really surprising was then I slept two or three hours, right? And then, like I said, I would jump right out of bed because, oh my god, I can't, I can't handle being in the bed without masturbating. So I jump right out and I go enjoy something new. And I find I'm not that tired. Despite only sleeping two or three hours, I actually have almost as much energy as I used to have. And I just toss and turn, that's all. I don't even uh, miss out on the sleep. Uh, but um, the first couple of times I did this, it was very disturbing. I kept thinking that I was going to be tired the next day, obviously. Uh, the other drawback, and uh, th this one has kind of resolved itself, was that it, it probably depends what you uh, what you do for a living, but I find that in the past, 
I used to do a lot of my problem solving while masturbating, and now I have to rethink how I do those kind of problem solving matters, right? I'm a professor, and sometimes I have to think about how do I uh, 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 explain something to one of my students, and oftentimes a lot of those thoughts would come when I'm masturbating. I know it's weird, so I have to rethink how to rearrange all that. So I have lots of ups and downs, but you know what? Here's the analogy I like to make. So, if you've been investing in, uh, let's see, cryptocurrency, right? Bitcoin started out at what, a fraction of a cent, and right now it's 20 some thousand. And it's gone in a huge roller coaster since then, right? But if you were dollar cost averaging, you benefited from that roller coaster ride, right? The more volatile it is, the better dollar cost averaging works, right? Similarly, the more the emotions swing when I quit masturbating, the, the more creative ideas I'm gonna get, the more people I'm gonna network with, and the more I'm gonna learn from this experience and be able to share with you guys, right? So those swings are, are benefit. When you, when you view it that way, you, you, you start to um, accept those swings for what they are and be able to push through them, right? And more importantly, I won't get that plunge, right? When I have a craving in the wrong place, do it in the wrong place, get, get myself in trouble and all that, right? 